Hi, I'm Safian Tia. This is a very introductory statistics course for beginners. We are going to get started with the first video of 2A ANOVA 5.1. What's the difference of 2A ANOVA? We've learned the one-way ANOVA in prior series of videos. In the one-way ANOVA, there is only one independent variable, which was a payment method in the example. Now, our question is, what if we have two independent variables? As you can see here, now we have one more independent variable, which is the contract. This variable has three levels such as month-to-month, -month, one year, and two-year contract. Now we have two questions. First, as we did in the one-way ANOVA, we want to know the impact of payment method on the total charges. This is the same in the one-way ANOVA. And second, we also want to know the influence of contract on the total charges. In other words, we want to know the change of total charges depending on the level of contract. Um, consequently, two-way ANOVA means a new version of ANOVA, which has two independent variables. But in two-way ANOVA, there is one more alpha. This one. And let's check this alpha in a later slide. Um, first, what is the meaning of two independent variables? Let's remind the prior example of one-way ANOVA. In addition to the payment method, which was the first independent variable, there is a new independent variable contract. So, we would test the change of total charges depending on four groups of payment method, which is the first independent variable. At the same time, in two-way ANOVA, we want to test the change of total charges depending on the three groups of contract, which is the second independent variable. Here, the effect from independent variable is called as a main effect. So, now we have two main effects in 2A ANOVA because we have two independent variables. And uh, now, we have to talk about the alpha. What is the alpha? The alpha in 2A ANOVA is the interaction. So, what is the interaction? Um, if we check the definition of interaction, when the effect of one variable is different across levels of other variables, we call it as an interaction. In other words, if the linear relationship is non-linearly changed, when the main effect of one independent variable is different across levels of the other independent variable, is an interaction. Can you understand this concept? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit uh, difficult, right? Um, first of all, let's check the meaning of the linear relationship. Here, linear in the linear relationship means a line. Mm -hmm. Line. Uh, the linear relationship in, uh, between independent and dependent variable is assumed as a linear relationship. 
This linear relationship is already assumed in t-test and ANOVA. I simply didn't notice this concept because it is very complicated. Um, but most analysis you do in statistics assumed, automatically assumed the linear relationship. In general, nonlinear relationship, the nonlinear analysis is perceived as a high level of statistics. So now we have to know the most statistics automatically assumed the linear relationship. Okay, let's check this uh, concept of uh, interaction and linear relationship with uh, figures. Uh, let's check the first example. This is a one-way ANOVA. Here, the independent variable x1 has two levels. Very simple case. So if we have two levels, level 1 and level 2, and uh, we can find the mean value of dependent variables of for each level of independent variable x1. Here, we assumed the mean value is 5 in the level 1 of x1 and 10 in level 2 of x1. Let's make it as a graph. As you can see here, for the level 1 is 5 and uh, is 10. Okay, as you can see here, independent variable x1 and dependent variables are linearly related, linearly, right? And then in the two-way ANOVA, we add a new independent variable x2. Likewise, we have a same value here, 5 and 10, but this one is level 1 of x2. And then for the level 2 of x2, we have another mean value 3 and a. And then we can make a graph these numbers into here. As you can see here, for the uh, level 1 of uh, x1 here, and the uh, level 2 of x2 here, we have four points. And then we can uh, make a kind of some line of uh, this, because this line is a uh, level 1 of x2, and this line is a uh, level 2 of x2. As you can see, the linear relationship between x1 and dependent variable is not changed depending on the levels of x2. These patterns are all same. So in this case, there is no interaction. However, um, it's very tough to understand the interaction. So I will show you many types and uh, many examples of interaction. First one, we have uh, two variables, x1 and x2, and then the mean values are here. How about the x1? As I said, we have two main effects, x1 and x2, and one interaction effect. Here, x1 main effect is null because as you can see here uh, level 1 of x1 is here and uh, the mean value of the two points are maybe here right and uh, for the level 2 of x2 we have two point it's almost the same so the mean value is here. So there is no main effect for the x1. How about the uh, main effect of x2? Main effect of x2 is, as you can see here, the white line and gray lines are almost the same. So their mean values are here. So there is no main effect of x2. It means that there is no difference 
uh, between level 1 and level 2 of x2. And finally, there is no interaction here because the linear relationship of x1 and dependent, dependent variables are not changing by x2. Likewise, the linear relationship between x2 and dependent variable is not changed by x1. So there is no interaction. How about this one? Here we have a main effect of x1 because for the level 1 of x1 the mean value is maybe about here and the level 2 of x2 the mean value is about here. So we have a difference of a dependent variable that means uh, there is a main effect of x1 but there is no main effect of x2 because, because, let's change the color. For the level 1 of x2, here the white line, the mean value may be about here. Uh -huh. And uh, for the level 2 of x2, the mean value is maybe about here, same. So there is no difference of dependent variable by x2. So no main effect of x2. And uh, there is no interaction here because uh, the relationship, linear relationship between x1 and the dependent variable is not changed by x2 and also the linear relationship between x2 and dependent variable is not changed by x1. And next Okay, here for the x1, there is no main effect because as you can see here, the two points are here, so the mean value may be this one. But for the level two of x1, the mean value also may be here. So there is no difference of dependent variable by level 1 and level 2 of x1. However, for the x2, the main effect is significant because for the uh, level 1 of x2, the mean values are here, but the level 2 of x2 mean values are here, so we have difference of uh, dependent variable and uh, this looks very significant so there is a main effect of x2 however there is no interaction effect because the linear relationship between x1 and dependent variable is not changed by x2 likewise the linear rela relationship between x2 and dependent variable is not changed so no interaction effect And next, uh, here there is a two uh, main effect. First one, oh, red. Okay, x1 is red. Um, level one of x1's uh, mean value may be here, but the level two of x1's uh, mean value might be here. So we have a uh, difference of a dependent variable uh, it depending on the level of x2 x1 and uh, for the x2 there is a main effect because for the level 1 of x2 is here so main, the mean value is here and uh, for the level 2 of x2 mean value is maybe here so likewise there is a difference of dependent variable uh, by x2 but there is no interaction because the linear relationship between x1 and dependent variable is not changed by x2 likewise the linear relationship between x2 and dependent variable is not changed by x1 okay how about this it looks uh, awkward, 
Mm, but let's check. Uh, for the X one, there is no main effect because for the level one of x1, the mean value may be here. And for the level two of x1, likewise, may be here. Mm -hmm. So there is no difference of dependent variable by x1. No main effect. And uh, for the x2, there is no main effect because this white line is x2, this point and this point. So the mean value is uh, here. And also the gray line is uh, level two of x2. The mean value is also here, almost the same. So there is no main effect. However, however, there is an interaction effect of here is a uh, significant because the linear relationship Let's check the linear relationship of uh, x1 and dependent variable is, for example, basically it was uh, same, but this mean value is changed by x2 because, because for the Level 1 of x1 is here, level 2 of x2 is here, is changed by level of x2. And this pattern is totally changed this direction. So the linear relationship is totally changed by the other independent variable. We call it interaction. Um, this graph is a uh, uh, kind of a representative uh, graph of interaction. Uh, here, maybe you uh, ask a question. It looks like there is something in uh, main effect of x1, x2. But no, because we only check the mean value of x1 and x2. Right? Let's check another case. How about this? Here, for the x1, there is no main effect. Let's check the x1. x1 is uh, for the level 1 of x1. We have two points here. So the mean value is might be here. And the uh, level 2 of x1, we have two points. So maybe about here, a little bit large, but very small changes. So maybe there is no main effect. However, for the x2, uh, in this case, for the level 1 of x2 is this white uh, line, so the mean value might be here. And uh, for the level 2 of x2, the mean value is here. So we have a difference of dependent variable depending on the level of x2. So there is a main effect of x2. And uh, there is uh, also interaction because the direction is totally changed by the, the other variable. For example, here, this pattern was uh, almost flat, but depending on the level of x2, this pattern is increasing, changing. So in this case, we... Uh, we said uh, there is a uh, interaction. So you have to understand what is the interaction uh, based on these kinds of a graph. Okay, another one. Here, for the uh, x1, there is a main effect because for the level one of x1, the mean value might be here. And uh, for level 2 of x2, we have two point, maybe so this one is a mean value. So we have a difference here. And then we can conclude that uh, maybe there is a main effect of x1. However, for the x2, okay, the white line is x2, so maybe this is the mean value of uh, 
level 1 of x2 and for the level 2 of x2 is uh, almost the same here. So there is no main effect of x2. However, this pattern, this pattern is changed by the other variable. So there is interaction, right? How about this? In this case, there is a main effect of x1 because for the level 1 of x1, the mean value is here. And uh, for the level 2 of x1, this two, no, 2 point, and maybe this one is the mean value. So we have a, a difference. And then, oh, there is a main effect of x1. And for the x2, there is also there is a main effect of x2 because for the level 1 of x2, the mean value is, uh, this is a white line, maybe here, this one. And for the level 2 of x2, this is flat. So here we have a difference of dependent variable by x2. So there is a main effect. And as you can see here, the pattern is totally changed. Yeah, there is an interaction. Okay. Uh, how about this? Oh, it, it looks very <laughs> uh, interesting. Yeah. And uh, let's check the X1. There is no main effect because for the level 1 of X1, the mean value is here. And uh, for the level 2 of x2, we have this two point. So the main value is made, might be here. So same. So no main effect of x1. However, for x2, there is a main effect because the white line is a level 1 of x2. So the mean value is here. And the gray line is a level 2 of x to the mean value is uh, here. So we have a difference of dependent variable. And then, wow, there is a main effect of x2. Yeah, right. And uh, th this pattern is totally changed by the other variable, independent variable. So interaction effect is okay. Yeah, there is an interaction effect. Mm hmm and uh, this is the final uh, figure. Here, there is no main effect of x1 because for the level 1 of x1, we have uh, this two point. So the mean value is, might be here. And uh, for the level 2 of x1, we have a two point, same position. So it's same. There is no main effect of x1. On the other hand, for the x2, there is a main effect of x2 because this white line and gray lines uh, mean values are here and uh, here. So we have a difference of dependent variable by x2. So there is a main effect of x2 and also we can say that there is an interaction because the patterns are totally changed, right? Okay, so consequently, uh, when uh, an in influence of one independent variable onto the, the depend variable is changed depending on the level of the other independent variable, we call it as an interaction effect. Um, this interaction effect is very, very, very important in social science because if this interaction is not discovered in prior uh, studies, we could predict various results and we can explain the various results using this interaction effect. Sometimes we can find a new and unique result from the interaction effect. So this is very important. And uh, I think uh, uh, in most research, sometimes uh, the focus is just finding out 
the interaction effect. Okay, uh, we are done today here. Uh, I showed many graphs uh, related with the uh, interaction. You have to understand what is the interaction. Okay, 5.1, what's the difference of 2A ANOVA? See you next time. Thank you.